This is my 1956 McCormick Deering Farmall 100, and I'm going to show you how I converted it to 12 volts. I did away with the generator and mounted a General Motors Delcotron 10SI alternator uh, using a fabricated bracket which I was able to find online. These are sold as fitting the uh, Model B, uh, the Model C, uh, the Model A, uh, the 100, 140, uh, 130 model uh, tractors. And as you can see, this is a standard three wire alternator because these are the type that work the best. And I will walk you through the wiring because I read it all the wiring on the um, load side of the amp meter, or almost all of it. This is the main battery post uh, terminal right here. And from this uh, terminal, this wire runs back to the load side terminal post on the amp meter. This is the voltage sense wire, which goes to, I think this is the number two terminal. And this also runs back to the load side terminal on the amp meter. And then this wire is the uh, one that goes to the number one terminal. This is what turns the uh, Delcotron on and off. And this is wired in series with a light bulb with the ignition switch. I'll come back here, show you the, the setup. So here we have the uh, the amp meter, and on the back side of this amp meter are two screw terminals. One screw terminal is the battery terminal, which runs to the um, positive uh, terminal on the starter switch, and then to the battery. And the other terminal is the load terminal. And it has several wires attached to it. It has a wire running up to the ignition switch and a wire running to the battery post and then another wire running to the sense wire. And if I pull out on the ignition switch, uh, the lamp comes on and also the ignition coil is energized. And this lamp is wired in series with the um, number one terminal on the Delcotron. And that provides the necessary voltage drop for the circuitry inside the Delcotron to operate correctly. I used a 10 gauge wire for the battery terminal wire going back to the um, amp meter. This is a 14 gauge wire for the sense wire. And then this is a 18 gauge wire for the uh, number one for the on off uh, wire. The reason why I ran the sense wire separately, a lot of people will just take this and tie it directly to there. Well, I get a more accurate voltage reading running the sense wire back. This wire doesn't carry any load. It's just telling the regulator circuitry inside the Delcotron what the operating voltage is and it adjusts accordingly. And then this wire is the wire that actually carries the uh, charging and running loads. And as such, you get much more accurate uh, representation to the Delcotron of what's going on in the electrical system by running this wire separately from this wire. Even though they both connect to the same spot, the length of the wire run, there could be enough um, uh, voltage drop on this load wire that I would get a false reading here and I might overcharge the battery. It works very, very well. I'm very pleased with it. The other things I've done, and I'll show you the wiring on this side. I have not yet rewired the wiring going from the uh, uh, battery terminal side of the amp meter back. So this is all the wiring that was on the tractor when I got it. I don't think it's original, although I did put new new battery cables on. These are the battery cables that Napa sells. They're very very nice they're made in the machine shop at the napa these are uh tinned 
copper terminals they're not the soft lead terminals that a lot of other vendors sell and and then they're um, uh, crimped on and they have this heat shrink tubing applied so they make a very nice sure connection and because they're copper instead of lead when you loosen this nut off they spring open just enough that you can easily remove them there's no messing about like you would with the um, lead terminals but this is the starter switch this is of course the positive wire to the battery and then this is the uh, positive wire going from the, the positive terminal to the positive to the battery post on the amp meter and of course good idea if you're converting to 12 volt get yourself a 12 volt internal resistor ignition coil and um, do a tune-up new new cap and points and condense everything so that everything is running top-notch and I'll get up here and start it pull out on that and then once the engine is running the light will go out and when you kill it light will come on briefly and then go out as the engine coasts to a stop so there you have it it's very very simple the wiring uh, eventually I'll get the um, oh yeah we'll talk about that Eventually I'll get the lights working on this tractor. I haven't done anything with the lights yet. Uh, but as you can see, I mounted the, the indicator light for the Delcotron. I mounted it where the fuse would normally go for the lights. And I could, could drill another hole and mount the fuse here. Or what I might do is because there's quite a bit of room in there, I might just mount an inline fuse inside there between the... Um, between the positive terminal or the uh, load terminal on the uh, amp meter and the, uh, the light switch and then I've got to run all new wiring for the headlights and tail light because I removed all of it it's in fairly bad shape um, something else to mention I did not swap the positions of the wires on the amp meter I heard some people say you've got to do that but when converting from a positive ground to negative ground, I didn't, and the ammeter still shows um, charge when the uh, engine's running and the Delcotron is putting out power. See, it's showing a discharge now with the light bulb and the. Uh, see, it's showing charge now. see it works just fine and I did not reverse the terminals and it worked um, previously it would show a discharge and it was running with the old generator that wasn't producing any power so I don't know where the idea came about that you need to swap the wires on the back but as you can see it it on mine I did not have to swap anything anyway this is OK Bridges, and uh, thank you for watching.